What do wasps have to do with human sexuality? The answer may surprise you. For Alfred Kinsey, the study of gall wasps was a crucial stepping stone on the path to revolutionizing our understanding of human sexual behavior. Alfred Kinsey's groundbreaking research on human sexuality shattered long-held beliefs about sexual behavior and morality, igniting a firestorm of controversy that reverberated through American society and challenged the very foundations of social norms and conventions. Alfred Kinsey is a renowned American sexologist and biologist who is widely regarded as the father of the modern scientific study of human sexuality. Born on June 23, 1894, in Hoboken, New Jersey, Kinsey was the eldest of three children. He grew up in a conservative Methodist family and attended Stevens Institute of Technology, where he earned a degree in mechanical engineering in 1916. Alfred's father was a professor of engineering at Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, and his mother was a devout Methodist who taught Sunday school. Growing up, Alfred was said to have a close relationship with his father, who encouraged his son's interest in nature and science. Alfred spent much of his childhood exploring the marshes and woods around his home, collecting specimens and observing wildlife. His mother, on the other hand, was stricter and more religious, and she instilled in her children a strong sense of morality and discipline. Alfred's parents had very different personalities and values, which may have contributed to the conflicting emotions and attitudes that he would later have toward sex and morality in his own research. After graduation, Kinsey worked briefly as an engineer before enrolling at Harvard University to study biology. He earned his master's degree in 1920 and his doctorate in 1924. After completing his doctorate, Kinsey joined the faculty at Indiana University, where he would spend the rest of his career. Before becoming a renowned sex researcher, Alfred Kinsey studied gall wasps extensively. Kinsey's interest in gall wasps began during his undergraduate studies at Bowdoin College where he was mentored by the noted entomologist William Morton Wheeler. Kinsey became fascinated with these tiny insects, which lay their eggs inside plant tissue and create distinctive galls as their larvae develop. Kinsey's research on gall wasps was groundbreaking in several ways. He discovered that each species of gall wasp is specialized to infest a specific species of plant, and he developed a classification system for the galls that these wasps create. He also showed that the shape and size of the galls could be used to identify different species of wasps, which was a major advance in the field of taxonomy. In addition to his classification work, Kinsey also conducted extensive studies on the behavior and life cycle of gall wasps. He observed the wasps as they laid their eggs and raised their young, and he studied their interactions with other species of insects and plants. Kinsey's research on gall wasps helped to lay the foundation for modern studies of insect ecology, and it earned him a Ph.D. in biology from Harvard University in 1919. However, in the late 1930s, he became interested in the study of human sexuality. At the time, there was little scientific research on the topic, and what did exist was often based on anecdotal evidence or moralistic judgments. Kinsey set out to change that by conducting the first comprehensive scientific study of human sexuality. He and his colleagues collected data on the sexual histories of thousands of men and women and published their findings in two landmark books, Sexual Behavior in the Human Male, 1948, and Sexual Behavior in the Human Female, 1953. The books were groundbreaking for their time, providing a detailed and scientific look at human sexuality. Kinsey's studies on human sexuality challenged traditional beliefs and stigmas surrounding sexual behavior, paving the way for greater openness and acceptance of diverse sexual behaviors and identities. Despite his groundbreaking work, Kinsey's research was also the subject of controversy and criticism. 
one of the major challenges to his research was the issue of sampling bias. Kinsey's research relied on surveys of volunteers, which may not have been representative of the general population. Additionally, some critics have accused Kinsey of lacking objectivity and using his research to promote a particular ideology. His use of volunteers to observe and record sexual behaviors, his use of prisoners as research subjects, and his use of child sexual abuse data obtained from interviews with known pedophiles have also been criticized as unethical. Despite these controversies, Kinsey's work was revolutionary in many ways. His research helped to normalize many sexual behaviors that had been stigmatized or taboo, such as masturbation, homosexuality, and extramarital sex. By collecting data on a large sample of individuals, Kinsey was able to provide a more accurate picture of sexual behaviors and attitudes. His research was unique in its focus on women's sexual experiences, and helped to promote greater understanding of female sexual behavior and orgasm. Kinsey's research also had a profound impact on public policy and legal decisions related to sexuality. His findings on the prevalence of homosexuality helped to challenge laws criminalizing homosexuality, and his research on birth control helped to pave the way for the legalization of contraception. Kinsey's work was based on scientific methods and rigorous data collection, which helped to legitimize the study of human sexuality as a scientific discipline. Conservatives, particularly those with strong religious and moral convictions, were generally highly critical of Kinsey's work on sexology. Many viewed his research as an attack on traditional sexual morality and a threat to the social order. Kinsey's findings on the prevalence of premarital sex, extramarital sex, and homosexuality challenged traditional beliefs about sexual behavior and morality, which many conservatives found deeply unsettling. Some conservative critics accused Kinsey of promoting sexual deviancy and undermining the moral fabric of society. They argued that his research was immoral and unscientific, and accused him of bias and a lack of objectivity. Some even went so far as to accuse him of being a communist or a sexual pervert. In response to this criticism, Kinsey argued that his research was based on objective scientific methods and that he had no agenda beyond the pursuit of scientific knowledge. He also defended his work as an attempt to promote greater understanding and acceptance of diverse sexual behaviors and identities, rather than as an attack on traditional morality. Alfred Kinsey's wife, Clara Mac Macmillan Kinsey, played an important role in his studies on human sexuality. Mac was a botanist by training, but she became involved in her husband's research from an early stage, and her contributions were crucial to the success of his work. Mac's involvement in the studies began as early as the 1930s when Kinsey began researching the sexual behavior of gall wasps. Mac assisted her husband in the field, helping to collect and identify specimens, and she also helped to analyze the data that he collected. Later, when Kinsey shifted his focus to human sexuality, Mac continued to play an important role in his research. She helped to conduct interviews with subjects and to record data, and she was also involved in the development of the questionnaires that were used in the studies. The Kinseys had a close and supportive relationship, and their marriage was marked by a deep mutual respect and affection. Mac was a partner in her husband's work, and her contributions were acknowledged and valued by Kinsey himself. In addition to his work on human sexuality, Kinsey also played a significant role in the civil rights movement. He was a vocal advocate for racial equality and played a key role in desegregating Indiana University. He also worked to promote women's rights, hiring many female researchers and staff members at a time when women faced significant discrimination in academia. Overall, Alfred Kinsey was a complex and controversial figure, whose work on human sexuality continues to inspire debate and discussion today. 
Although his research was met with resistance and opposition during his lifetime, it helped to pave the way for greater understanding and acceptance of diverse sexual behaviors and identities. His contributions to the field of sexology were revolutionary, and his legacy continues to shape the way we think about sexuality and human behavior. While some of his conclusions and methods may be viewed as flawed or controversial by modern standards, his pioneering work remains an important milestone in the study of human sexuality, and a testament to the power of rigorous scientific inquiry to challenge long-held assumptions and promote greater understanding of the world around us. 